We think that the technology for buying has been slow um, because the voice assistants to date have been missing screens. Around 20% of consumers were actually using their device for shopping. Um, and we expect this to increase now that a uh, majority of, of voice assistants will be purchased with the dual interface. I think for, for a lot of brands that we've spoken with, the thought about voice is that it becomes more of an afterthought. Not just thinking about like the look and feel of a campaign, but what's the sound? What does your voice sound like? Because that way voice becomes a part of your actual activation versus just another like line item on a flowchart. Voice, I think one of the things that we feel really strongly about is thinking about voice as more of an insight creator. If you're a car dealership, for example, can voice be the place of like removing the human awkwardness from the conversation with people as they're shopping for cars? Or if you're a fashion brand, could you have a voice capability that is more of like an at-home dressing assistant? One of the big things that we kind of thought about um, that was really interesting is like what's next after shopping. So um, being able to see like destinations before you go there, being able to explore what's in a new city would be really powerful um, from a visual standpoint. We actually also heard that younger consumers were already using their devices when it comes to travel, like having an Uber ready at the airport or looking up a rental car service or restaurants for a destination for when they get there. I think for what's next to come that we thought was actually really cool is health and wellness. And we heard a lot of consumers saying that they'd be interested in voice assistants really acting as like a personal trainer and giving you like motivation to finish workouts. So interest there from the consumer is definitely um, pushing the devices to be more than maybe just like your kitchen counter accessory.